Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Japan in Europa Universalis 4. We're playing on speed 3D. Oh, slow down. Estates demand control of provinces. Okay, so we, uh, well, it's, hey, pause the game, pause the game. All right, so. The clergy control not enough land. Uh, let's take a look around a little bit at autonomy. There's some land up here. That's kind of crap. It's the wrong religion. They are territorial cores, though, so we can't grant it to anybody. We've got a province up here at 44% autonomy. It's only eight developments. Um, we could. We could give this to the clergy. It's the right religion. Shinto. So that's cool. Uh, this would take their percentage of land up to 10.5%. That sounds ideal to me. I think we're going to just leave the... Uh, Leave the autonomy where it's at. We'll just do that. We'll give it to them. And then that's going to leave the nobility who also want some more land. This province has 87% autonomy. It's already owned by the nobility. This one's also already owned by the nobility. And then down here we've got a 10 development province with quite high autonomy yet again. Let's go ahead and give this over the nobility. Uh, it's got 4, 4, 4, and 2. So the manpower is not that great. But I think these higher development provinces, or the higher autonomy, rather, provinces are the most sensible location to do that in. Seems to make sense to me. Let's give it to the nobility. How are we looking on numbers? Numbers all look good. We could ask for a contribution from these fellas. Only 37 ducats. They have very little influence. Low trade income. Base. Very loyal, though. Not a lot of, a lot of not much of an effect from it. I think we'll go ahead and just demand some money from them. Because the, uh, the development cost reduction doesn't matter too much. We could demand some support here. I kind of wish that this thing would just show the full number. Like 58 point what? Like give me one more decimal point. Because it ticks by 0.1% per month, generally speaking. So knowing exactly what it's at, how far away would be nice. How are we doing on military tech? We are not ahead of time. We are almost ready for our first idea group. Royal marriages, I think, we'll ignore. Uh, there was a great comment a video or two back saying that one of the things that you can do is uh, if your vassals declare war on each other, that you can enforce peace and then annex them. Um, I th think, but when you enforce peace, you don't become the war leaders. I don't really know how that would work. I guess you do a separate peace with their war leader if you, if you were the one to occupy them. The problem is that none of our vassals border each other. They're also tiny. I think we're going to end up probably just integrating them. So for now, we're improving relations with them. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and demand these points. And, uh, that makes them disloyal, but who cares? Okay, let's let the game run. So, how are our finances looking? We owe 462 ducats. We're making some income. We're at no maintenance right now. We're currently rooting out corruption. We're keeping our corruption down to nothing. We're on positive one stability. We have some more exhaustion. We took over some new territory up here. This is uncolonized. So, how are we gonna, how are we, how are we gonna play this? Are we going to try Sickness of the Shogun? Uh, Japan gets powerful nobles until the death. Well, until 1478, 10 years, or until our current Shogun dies. The so taxes go down, nobilities gain loyalty, or... Same thing, 10 years. Monthly autonomy goes up by 0.05. And the merchant... I, I think we'll take the less income. Tax income loss is basically the same thing. Amanus has done something. Right, so I gotta decide, like, are we gonna try to colonize down here? Are we gonna try to invade Korea, who is not actually allied to Ming? There's an opportunity here to expand. We can also get into Yeren. Uh, we're currently building a spy network on Yeren. I think that that's the easiest option, but Korea on Tech 5 would be a pretty suitable uh, country to invade. He's got 16 troops that we can see right there. We've only got 13 troops at the moment, but we can have up to 27. We've also already got Four transports. And depending on his attitude... These guys are rivaled to each other, so we could easily invade here. Right? Even with just four transports. If we have naval superiority, we invade here, because he won't get military access. Get all of our troops here, then we ask for access, then we march the 27 stack down into there. We don't actually need to make transports. Or we just invade Yeren, which would be a lot easier. Our dude just died. That sucks. Oh well. We now have a 143 with no air. We had to renew a loan. State maintenance is uh, it's up there. 
Inflation's kind of high, actually. And increasing. Due to the gold mine. We're not going to click the Unite Japan button. We can integrate some of these guys as soon as they like us enough. So, date, also known as date, apparently. He's at 93. We've been improving with him. We need another 100 opinion. We can only pick up some. We actually accrued quite a bit of aggressive expansion with these guys. That's okay. I mean, we can... Eventually, we'll integrate them. We'll end up getting that one achievement, the, uh... Chrysanthemum Throne, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Chrysanthemum. Ming just ate something up there. It'd be cool if the uh, the replay feature, you could just see, like, show the last five years. That kind of thing. That'd be nice. We have a valid rival. We can rival Ming. He's a lot stronger than we are. Recent uprising has expired. He's also a tech level behind, though. Two tech levels soon to be. So that could be nice. We're going to gain some infantry shock, infantry fire, combat width, more tactics, uh, better cavalry. We also get access to our barracks. I think we do take this tech now. And let's go with uh, combat pips. Or no, I think we'll go for the offensive morale. We only have one cab at the moment, but... And we might as well rival Ming, I mean... Why not, right? Higayashi... with that word. Culture. We can get tech cost reduction at the cost of some money. Or lose one prestige. I don't think we're going to be doing much tech, but until the death of our character, he's very young. I guess we'll take it. Yeah, it's probably going to pay for itself. And we didn't have to take out a loan to do it, so that's quite nice. We do need more boats. Have another transport here. Part of the problem is that my my navy is we got one light ship in there. So let's go ahead and uh, peel off the galleys and transports. Get them to come on down here. We are not building any more. Let's square away our finances for a bit. So little income is coming from trade. It's part of the problem. If we could get the the fleet mothballed, that would help slightly. Eh, 0.35 ducats a month. I don't think we're going to go to war for a little while. I'd really prefer to just kind of stabilize the country a bit. Uh, we will get a claim up here, though. You only need to do this for a couple more months. Looks like three more months of... Spy network stuff up here to get our second claim. And that is the only other province we can claim. So, the development's got awful, but, you know, if we can take it, we'll get it. It is true that we have no heir. Maybe we should do the royal marriages with some of these guys. I don't think it'll affect us if we want to... I mean, we have eight relationship slots, so... Yeah, I think it couldn't hurt. Bring you back. Go ahead and fabricate that other claim. We'll go around royal marrying our vassals now. Sort by opinion. Let's start with uh, Date. Legitimacy hit is unfortunate. Can we, uh... Can we do it with somebody else? And not have it cost us? Nope. What about you? Nope. It's negative five with all of them. This one's only negative two. Let's start with you. I forget what it is that determines the cost. It's it's something like their legitimacy versus your legitimacy, or their prestige versus your prestige, or I don't know. I'm guessing because they've got negative prestige. Let's see, Oichi had less negative prestige. This guy had positive prestige, so it can't just be prestige. It's got to maybe be also their legitimacy value. I don't know. More legitimate your government. I think if they have more legitimacy than you, that it doesn't cost you. Or something. I, I forget. It doesn't matter. It's usually not very important. Alright, so you want some province. 
a province. Which province is this? Ichigo. You know, Ichigo was one of my favorite characters for a long time. The autonomy here is pretty, uh, pretty okay. We, we decreased autonomy here. Um... Fine, you can have it for now. If you cause problems for me, nobles, I'm gonna take your land away. Just so you know. Yeah, in, uh, in Bleach. Bleach was a fantastic show, but it was too much filler. Way too much filler. Did I mothball those? Yes, I did. Okay, so 4.2. That's not a lot of money. Uh, do we want to pay off the loans? There's our heir. Hide Yoshi. Hide Yoshi! Hide him. Hide him from somebody. We're gonna start making a little bit more money once we stop having to root out corruption. Like, right now we're spending uh, a half ducat a month on rooting out corruption. And most of that is coming from the overextension. Our religious unity needs to get squared away as well. These will be able to be converted pretty quickly. Uh, benign neglect in the province of Izumo. 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 There's quite a bit of development. Good trade, good. Probably get more money from the... Local trade power? Trade power here is pretty bad. I think it's actually going to be the taxes. Yeah. If it moves, tax it. It will start converting. We have another missionary, or another diplomat back available. Alright, I'm going to take the, the, the legitimacy, legitimacy hit here to try to get Date integrated a little bit earlier. But what I'd really prefer to do is integrate three of them at once. I mean, if we're going to take that hit on opinion from integrating vassals, I'd really prefer to have just three of them knocked out right away. We're going to have a negative three diplomacy, diplomatic reputation penalty for a while. And so we might as well. We have no forts, right? No, I got rid of all of them. Because we're on an island. We're on a freaking island. 80% on the Ainu separatists. 0.7 years into the rebellion. The development up here is really low, so the rebellion should be quite small. They're already at 80%. Um, let's pay back that loan and we'll go up to full maintenance. We have no general right now. Can we hire a general from the nobles? Not until... 75. Well, we're gonna need a general, and we are ahead of time on military tech. Surprisingly, despite the fact that we are in a different tech group, this is still, like, ahead of time for everyone. Like, we're, we're ahead of time for everything at the moment, so... I think we can afford to hire a general. A 1131? I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That's quite a few pips, considering we only had 20 army tradition. 1, 2, 5... Yep, yeah, okay. It's... Grasslands, we can flank. Uh, 12 infantry are going to deploy appropriately uh, anyway. They've got more cav than we do. They have no leader, so we don't have to worry about the river crossing. Or yes, they do have a leader. He's a 0 2 zero. I don't know how I missed that they actually did have a leader. Whatever, it's not important. We're just losing a little bit of manpower here. And that deals with that rebellion. So, now that we've had that rebellion, perhaps once these cores. Or once we make this into a, a state, in one territory we're allowed to make it into a state. Let's make it into a state. Why don't we go ahead and lower autonomy in these provinces? Even though it's really crap territory, I feel like it's probably going to be a good idea. I do not like that you can't do it while you have a missionary active. I think that that's pretty stupid. Since it's an instantaneous click, like, why not? You know? You know, another rebellion here is not going to be the end of the world. It's going to be really easy to put down, and we need to get this land producing for us. Unrest is at negative seven right now. Are there estates that have too much territory? Okay, we maxed out our relations with Date. Let's make sure we're improving with you. Let's make sure we're improving with... Uh, 
you and a witchy. Let's see. Uh, estates that have too much land. We have no... <laughs> the, the burgers just disappeared. <laughs> anyway, uh, you are at 10 point and you are at 19.1. So yes, you have a little bit too much land right now. You... Uh, we could revoke some territory from. You're loyal enough that you could handle it as well. So let's find land that the nobility own. We'd prefer to get their percentage of land down as much as we can. This makes them disloyal. This one makes them slightly disloyal as well. I mean, either one would be good. I'd say since this one's already at 25% autonomy, it could theoretically be lower. So I think we revoke this one from them. They'll be disloyal for a short period of time. And actually, um, that's okay though. They can go disloyal. There should not be a rebellion here because they only rebel if they're already disloyal when you do it. So no rebellion. And that saved us 10% autonomy on 11 developments. So we effectively gained 10% of 11, which is 1.1 development by doing that. Makes them disloyal for just, you know, nine months. Not a big problem. Do, 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 do. And they're doing okay on land. Also got rid of the disaster. Do we even have any estuaries at all? Estuaries. We do have one here, but this is owned by Uichi. So as soon as we get that, we're going to grant this to a, a burger estate. Uh, the, ro the Royal Lords of Shizamu, one of our guys. Sh let's just take the legitimacy hit. I think it's fine. One of our vassals looks like they are ready to be integrated. Date is willing to go. It would only take us till November of 73, so only, like, nothing. Nothing, nothing. But if we're going to do that, we should wait till we can do Shizamu and uh, Hatakayama as well. We've already got our better relations over time, guy. We haven't done anything toward paying off the debt. Still owe the same 385 ducats. Actually, no, I may have paid one loan. I'm not sure. We've got our claims up here in Yeren, who has no allies. Aichi is getting way bigger. I feel like invading this guy would probably be a good idea before anyone else can attack him. Aichi doesn't have any claims on him yet, but Aichi is a Conant, so they have the nomadic CB, they could just attack him anyway. What, what's your mission? You've been warned by Ming. Okay, but if you were to attack Yeren, Ming is not bordering Yeren, so... Ming couldn't protect him. If I don't jump up there, then I'm gonna have to attack Hai Chi, which would be a lot harder. Didn't we already have this thing? Okay, uh, I think it's time maybe to change over our focus. And I've got to take some time here to look through and decide, do we want to colonize? I haven't colonized in a while, and we certainly are in a position to be a colonial nation. So I could do my standard, like, idea group build that I've been using. Um, you know, go innovative, uh, offensive quality into humanist, and then administrative. Um, which is very, very good for combat. And good for expansion. Or we could just go different. We could just go like exploration ideas and start colonizing. We could colonize really early on. There's plenty of territory nearby uh, that we, we, would get, we would get to be uh, words. We would be able to take and keep because there's no colonial nations over here. Uh, except for Australia, which we can't see just yet. Colonial regions? I'm looking for colonial range. Colonial. There it is. Like, we could easily colonize down to here right now. Once we colonize those, they would extend our colonial range down into this area. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm leaning in that direction, actually. Colonization sounds like fun again. I wanna, I'm gonna maybe give it a shot. But, for now, I'm gonna take a break here. And I will, hopefully, see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.